Hi, Max Calder with YoMaxFitness.com. We're here with Lelia today to talk about the Alexander Technique. Um, I often refer to uh, lengthening, and I use that term a lot, and I've stolen that from, from um, one, of your, one of your terms that you, you use um, as a way to describe keeping yourself uh, lengthened when doing exercises. So Lelia is here as an expert and a teacher in this uh, uh, practice and to show us, uh, to demonstrate some techniques to um, sort of give us a little lesson, almost a mini lesson, and to sort of describe the theory of it and the background of it and the principles and so on. And we're going to do that over a series of three videos. Thank you, Max. I'd like to talk first about what the Alexander Technique is. Uh, it's a little hard to describe, but I would say, rather than posture, which is what most people think of, I would call it training in moving well. So remembering or recovering the natural alignment that we have as children, all of us knew how to sit, how to stand, how to walk in the early years of our lives, and we did so with a lot of mobility and flexibility and a lot of enthusiasm. And something happens as we get older. Alexander said if there were a devil, he would only have had to invent a chair. So maybe that was part of the problem. Or maybe it's that uh, we started moving in very peculiar ways. We started sitting in cars most of the time, or we didn't move enough, or we sit in chairs in front of computers too long. All of that contributes to the fact that we just lose this innate connection with our inner wisdom about the structure of the body and how to move in a body, how to be in alignment and balance and natural movement. It's a, a mindfulness practice, actually. You become aware of what you're doing, you notice what you're doing, you think about it sometimes. You actually can change your habits, which is one of the most amazing things that he taught people how to do way back starting in 1895, and he died in 1955. So 60 years of talking about how we program and then reprogram our nervous system, how we move things from being unconscious habits back up to the level of consciousness so that we can actually do something about them when we want to change. If you think about animals, I think people love to watch animals because they move beautifully. And it's not just animals that, that can move beautifully. We can do it too. And any training that you do, strength training or tennis or anything like that, is over and above the kind of technique you use for walking and standing and sitting. That's where it starts. And that's what you bring with you into everything. That's what forms the structure of your body. Why you do it? Because it's healthier, because it's safer, because you don't end up with a lot of injuries, because you age well. If you'd known you were going to live that long, you would have taken better care of yourself, yes? So this is the chance to do that starting as early as you can possibly do it. Learning to relax, something that most of us can't do on command. Otherwise, we wouldn't be grinding our teeth. We wouldn't wake up in the morning with stiff necks. Being aware of what you're doing while you're doing it. Again, a mindfulness practice so that you can make choices. So I'd like to work a little bit with Max as a model. 